So I have a concept and I want to share it. I just came up with this concept or this analogy this morning. So I'm looking for some feedback and uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm playing around with this concept of the necessity to uh, receive help from other people. Okay. And it's not easy because all dependent there's, 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 in general, I think a lot of people want to take on the, the challenges of the world. They want to take on the, their personal challenges by themselves, right? And there's some, there's a time and a place to say, I'm going to take care of this by myself. I got this. And there's other times when the situations and the challenges are overwhelming and we need that support, right? But oftentimes we'll negate that support by saying, I'm good. I'm all right. I'll take care of myself. And so there's a necessity to be strong through the posture of vulnerability or, or allowing vulnerability to be a posture of strength and saying, listen, I'm going through something. Let me talk to you about it. Let me get some other ears on this, some other, some more eyes on this thing. So hopefully I can figure out how to navigate myself through the situation and make make peace with it, understand it, and then and then hopefully uh, turn this this the situation that I've that I've been quite that I've endured into a, a beautiful, wonderful life uh, lesson, right? So the analogy that I came up with for what it looks like when we decide not to ask for help, right? So let's say, for instance, you're 25 years old. You're 25 years old and you've been building a house, all right? You've been building a house probably since you were, let's say, 10, 12, 11 years old. You've been building this house, right? Brick by brick, you know, wood panel by wood panel, cement and all that stuff, nail hammers and all that stuff. You've been building this house. And so you're 25 years old, all right? And you finally got this house standing, right? And so you've, you've, you've put... Uh, you've added detail to this house. You know, you've, you've, you got your decor, you got your furniture, you got your carpet, your rugs, you got your, 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 your artwork around the house. All these, all these things that, that, that speak of who you are and speak of your identity and all of that stuff, right? So you got all this, this, this beautiful home that you've created but you run into some adversity, right? You get knocked off your feet with some adversity, right? And it's something that you just didn't think about. You didn't even think of, right? But you get knocked off your feet. And what the adversity is, you know nothing about uh, electricity or plumbing or electrical in installation or plumbing. You know nothing about those things. That's what knocked you off your feet. But you got this house that is almost complete, right? Or you thought it was complete. And, and, and some of what was once making you feel like you had a, a, a complete house has now been snatched away from you because you've run into a snag and the, and the snag is you know nothing about plumbing, you know nothing about electrical installation, right? But you try to, you don't want to go and ask anybody for any help or anything like that. You just keep on acting like you don't need electricity or you, need, you don't need the plumbing, right? So you just keep kind of working around it. You just kind of keep working around it. So you say, you know what, I don't need the plumbing. I can just go down to the, you know, you know, the restaurant or the store or whatever. I can go down there and use the restroom and I don't need electricity. I mean, like once it turns, once it becomes a certain time of day, I'll just stop doing certain things or I'll get flashlights and batteries or whatever. I don't really need to learn how to make sure that my house is lit up. I don't need the, you know, the Internet. This, these things that I can do without. I'm good. Right. I have a house. It's complete. I'm good. Right. So then you start to invite friends over. You start to invite friends over and deep down inside, you feel some kind of way that your house is incomplete, but you say, you know what? That's not a big deal. They won't, they won't notice. They won't notice that my house is incomplete. And so they come in there and they're saying, wow, you know, this is a really, really nice house. You're like, thank you. I, you know, I've been working on it since I was 10 or 11 or 12. I've been working on this house. You know, I've been, I've been putting a lot of work into it. They're like, wow, this, this is amazing. This is amazing. And, and, and then night falls. Night falls, right? So something happens in night falls, and then all of a sudden, um, people are like, you know, um, I'm really enjoying our conversation, but I can't see you as well as I was able to see you earlier when the sun was out. Why don't you turn on some lights? And you say, you know what? Uh, having a light situation. Having a light situation. Uh, I pay my bills, right? But the light... Light situation is crazy. I don't know some electrical thing going on. Everybody's like, "Well, those other people have their lights on. You're the only house that's been, you know, impacted by this situation." You say, "Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. I, hey, I don't know, right?" And so you kind of get out of that one, right? You kind of trick your friends and you get out of that one. So then, so then, someone says, "You know what? I really need to use the restroom." And you say, "You know what? Funny thing. Not only is my electricity impacted by this problem, but so is, uh, so is." What does that do? Oh. OK. 
Okay, ignore that. So they say, I don't know what's going on, but my plumbing is messed up too. I can't, I don't know, something's wrong with my plumbing. So yeah, we gotta either, you know, you gotta hold it or you either gotta go down the street. And so you're in your head thinking, I wonder if they're buying these, these excuses, right? And so finally your friends say, is everything okay with your house? Do you, did you not, like, do you need some money? Do you, do you need some assistance with your house? And, and you say, no, I'm good. My house is fantastic. My house is fine. You're like, yeah, but it's, it's, it's late and I, I, I really can't see you. And, I need, and, I'm, and I'm getting uncomfortable because I have to use the restroom and I can't. And I would imagine that this, like, this is a problem for you as well. You know, at some point you have to use the restroom. At some point you need to, you need light when, you know, the sun goes down. I would imagine this is a problem to you. And I hope that you're not leaving your house every time you use the restroom. I hope that you're not, you know, your, your productivity doesn't suffer because you can't uh, see at night, right? Is there anything that I can do? And that's when the person says, no. I'm fine. Fantastic. Everything's good. This is kind of what it feels like when we're going through things and we decide not to let the people closest to us know what's going on. The reality is our friends, especially if they are friends and they know us, they know what's going on and they know that you're suffering. They know that you're lacking something. They know that you're not complete. You are the house that is lacking plumbing and electricity. Your friends can see that. They can sense that. They can tell. They know you. And, and that adversity takes a chunk of you. It takes a chunk of you. In order for you to regain that chunk, you have to ask for help sometimes. You have to ask for support for sometimes. You have to ask for someone to come give you some additional assistance, right? You have to from time to time. There are times when you can kind of patch up things yourself and patch it up and make it even better than it once was. There's times when you can do that work yourself, but there's times when you need additional work. So in order for you to reclaim your, your totality, which every day something is looking to take a portion of you away every single day. So every day you have to be willing to either do the work yourself and acknowledge it or ask for some assistance, right? Because if you don't ask for some assistance, you're living in a house that is void of things that are necessary, plumbing and electricity. Now, unless you're living in the woods, I guess you are good. But if you're not, <laughs> you need those things. And if you are a house yourself, if you are some sort of temple, and your temple or your house is void of certain things, it's going to have an impact on your confidence. It's going to have an impact on how you show up. Can you imagine being in a house and you don't have any electricity and you don't have any plumbing and your friends are uncomfortable and they're talking to you and they know you're uncomfortable and everybody's trying to avoid the fact that you are lacking something, but you're still trying to dress it up like it's not a big deal? That's how many people go through life, acting like they're not missing anything, acting like everything's okay. You're like, bro, I can see it in your eyes, man. I know you're struggling. Sister, I can see it in your eyes. I know, you, I know you're hurting, right? So my, 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 my whole point is be vulnerable. Vulnerability is a posture of strength. Allow some, allow some people to help you. Allow some people to help you. If you're going through something, do it. I'm an only child. It's tough. I've been dealing with my own problems for a long time. But I'm learning that when someone says, hey, Marv, how you doing? And it's not the, hey, Marv, how you doing? Doing all right? No, it's, Marv, how, how, everything okay? It's that, that's my cue to then say, well, you got a, you got a minute? Because I am going through some things and it'd be nice to maybe let them out. Or it'd be nice to just kind of hear somebody else's perspective. And when you, hear, when you do that, you'd be amazed at how good it feels just to kind of get it out, just acknowledge it. And then once you accept responsibility for your happiness, Right. And say, I'm going to, I'm accepting full responsibility for my happiness means I'm going to figure this thing out. I'm not going to let this thing. I'm not going to let this cloud stay over me. I'm going to figure this thing out. Right. I'm going to accept total responsibility for my happiness because if this thing is making me unhappy, I'm about to, I'm going to reclaim it. I need happiness to succeed. That's the chunk that was taken away from me. I'm going to reclaim that chunk. I'm going to get my happiness back. I'm going to get my happiness back by appreciating what I've been through. As devastating as it may be, as tough as it may be, I gotta come out, I gotta come away with something. I gotta come away with something so that I can appreciate what I've been through so I can accelerate in life with what I need and leave behind the stuff that I've done. All right, so hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Are you the house void of plumbing and electricity? 
And if you are, when your friends say, do you need some help? Say, you know what? Actually, I do. I don't know how to do any plumbing and I don't know how to install any whatever to get electricity. Can you help me out with that? One. And two, do you know anybody who can help me out with that? And then they'll say yes. And then all of a sudden you'll have a complete house. Mark Fox Jr. Done.